$20,000 Bitcoin jumping right into the market today in crypto. Man, this thing up only. I mean, you've got, these are daily candles. Today's and yesterday's daily candles. Freaking epic. I'll tell you what, bears got completely crushed. Remember this double bottom idea that we talked about? I was looking for a move up here. Hey, this thing broke out and broke above the 200 simple moving average. Earlier today, I posted in group where a daily close, which happened above the uh, 200 SMA, about 19,600, should bring some FOMO into the market. You still have a lot of money sitting on the sidelines. There's a ton of people still in, and we'll talk about this in just a second. Actually, let's go there now. Look at, look at this. Tether, you got $66 billion still sitting in Tether. USDC, $43 billion. Buying BUSD, you got $16 billion. They're still sitting on the sidelines ready to jump right into the market. Gosh, today in crypto, amazing. It's days like this that make it all worth it. Really, truly, congratulations to you guys. Like it's been a long, hard road. And if you're here watching this channel right now, you made it. You won, you won because you endured the downtrend, right? So obviously there's Bitcoin plaques in store. There's marks going to go all over the place, but just, you know, some amazing up upside like we've seen over the last couple of days. So good to see some green in the markets and these altcoins trading. These altcoins has been easy next level, right? So much easier to gauge your trading skills i mean when the market is bullish and moving with you when you're swimming with the current right when you're with the trend when you're trading with the trend it's so much easier to trade this market so bitcoin daily parabolic gains you're looking up here at the rsi and the reason why this is surprising is because your rsi and this is where rsi will get you right where it's hard to when you trust these indicators it's hard to, you'll, you'll, a lot of times you'll close trades early, right? Because this thing is overbought, well overbought up into the almost 90. Like we haven't seen this in an extended period of time, anything like this, things are different. So Bitcoin bulls have to obviously hold the 200 simple daily moving average. Bang it for upside continuation. Now, again, CPI data, inflation data came out good, positive, and everything's changed. All the, and I'll, sh I'll show you some stock charts in just a second, but there's, there's a big shift in the mentality of traders. And a lot of this had to do, and I talked to you about it yesterday as the sign that you, you had to pay attention to. And it was the grayscale Bitcoin trust bounce, right? Where you have all of a sudden stock traders starting to buy low GBTC. So uh, let's remember this as an indicator. Next time after a bear market, you see GBTC bounce. Like that was, a, that was one of the best signals that we could have picked up. And so again, amazing to see such massive gains in a short period of time. And we'll continue to do it time and time again in this market. Now, what you must under, understand is it's, it, you have to pay yourself. Right, you have to take profits, right? And then you can do so in percentages, right? If you, this, this, this market is player versus player. This is not, let's all trade together, right? We, we've made it that way in essence uh, on this channel where everybody's you know, looking for the best trades, the best setups, how to learn to trade this market. But essentially you're, tra you're tr trying to take everybody else's money, right? So the most important thing is learn how everybody else trades and then trade a little bit faster, a little bit quicker. And you'll think, well, where are they going to sell? Where are they going to take profits? Where are the, what, when the market, here's the key, the number one thing in my strategy that has made me a multimillionaire by far is when the market does what you least expect it to do, it will punish the losing side. Again, the bears are getting completely crushed. I've got some amazing shout outs in my trading group. This person, thanks for everything you do. You're the best. Matic, he's up 17x. 17x his, mar his money in one trade. This person, so I just posted on your Twitter, I made $2,000 in two days. 
Bang it. This person, he, he named every single one of his trades. So $18,571 he made total. And 228% on one trade. Allah. Jonathan nailed gal 127%. Banger after banger after banger. I mean, and like your portfolio starts to look crazy. Look at 31%, 33, 35, 40. I had so many people rejoining the group, coming back to where the money is made. We're gonna continue the discount. So right now it's 60% off if you pay in crypto and an additional $100 off. I'm gonna make sure you're in the best setups, period. Go over to my website, cryptorev.net. Join. If you have any questions about joining, send me an email, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. Okay, earlier we talked about the bulls want a weekly close above the 2017 cycle top. We're, we're above it now. 19,821 was the cycle top of the previous parabolic bull market back in 2017 okay i started buying thousand dollar bitcoin way back way way back here now clearly bitcoin considerably higher however holding from 20,000 or 50,000 or 60,000 and back down here is it's not the way to dominate this market I mean, that's what we're trying to do like we're not trying to sit here and watch our, our portfolios move up and down. We're trying to take profits, lock in profits, and then compound the profits. That's how you win at this game. You, you compound your winnings over time, and you go through these market cycles, you will see numbers that you never even believed. You, you kind of lose touch with it. It seems like monopoly money after a while. You lose touch with it. You know, you, you, you just, the number of zeros and commas that you see in your portfolio, it just doesn't even register. It just, this market, I'm telling you, it's capable of building massive amounts of wealth, but you have to be in the right coins at the right time, period. I can help you with this. Ethereum closed the daily above the 200 simple moving average. So the 200 simple moving average is right here. What this is, it's an average of the last 200 daily candle closes. So what you have to understand is, this means that Ethereum is bullish, right? It needs to hold above this level, right? But it's, it's bullish and, and Bitcoin has done the same thing, right? And so this is bringing all, you know, retail's about ready to fumble into the top. They're just, oh no, it's gonna take off. And here it is, retail's waited to the last minute. They didn't buy the breakout. They didn't try to buy this double bottom breakout. They're gonna buy the top. Retail, that's just how, how they're programmed. They're like, oh man, look, Bitcoin's doing this. Now, some type of retracement to the 200 simple would be a good entry. It's called a bullish retest. And when you get those, that's where the strongest group of buyers is sitting waiting for entry right now. Right now. Now, will you get this? You had such a euphoric move to the upside that there's probably still a lot of look at this you, you've got resistance here but you've, you've got a lot of people right now ready to fomo china's waking up who's ready to fomo into the market ethereum again daily above the 200 simple moving average it hasn't done this in forever let's see it's been briefly above it you definitely don't want to see this from april so back here in july of 2021 you saw Ethereum breakout above the 200, but notice how it came back down and retested it, right? And really the price action really likes to do this. So at some point after this breakout, if, if it comes up here and, and somehow retests it, like that's also a great place to add to your entries, okay? So again, the RSI is completely, it's way out of whack. Like there's tons of, it's so overbought, it's insane. But I mean, you've seen this before here, and it still ran up 3,100, and it still ran up to 3,900. So the RSI is tricky on how you use it because it can get pegged and get stuck there. The market isn't acting 
rational right now. It's completely irrational, right? The FOMO trading is starting as we speak. Like this has been actually, a lot of today has been FOMO. And again, that's, a, it's tough to trade because that, that emotion is like, where are people gonna take profits? And so you're doing it on um, taking profits, always good to lock in some, you can't lose, you can miss opportunities locking in profits, but any type of pullback is a good, if you miss the move, any type of pullback or bullish retest of the 200 simple is a good place to enter on all the coins. Litecoin has really been the leader. It's, and I immediately started to post in it quite a few setups in trading group when I saw this breakout, but then it completely bull trapped the entire market. It broke out above it and then gave it back and then bearish retest, regained it. Okay, so it's been, this is not the very difficult move. Most, I mean, this, this market's designed to take your money. Average and advanced traders would have missed any type of move out of Litecoin. Right? The news, people were doubting the news and that was, that was the issue. But again, Litecoin still leading, been above, it's been above the 200 simple since November 22nd. And even on this downturn, you came back, remember how we talked about the retest and then buying the retest? So I didn't quite touch it. And what happens is it's called front running. People will front run or they'll buy, they know everybody else is programmed. People on every YouTube channel, hopefully they have a, any sense. They're talking about bullish retest. This comes down to here. You're supposed to buy based on the bullish retest. Okay, sell based on the bearish retest. Is it perfect? No, nothing is. But over time, these strategies create millionaires, period, period. And again, you've seen Litecoin up only for many, many, many days, right? Obviously some downside, but I'm just saying like Litecoin of all the coins leading the market, but it does that historically. It's, and I talked to you about how Litecoin has led crypto out of the bear market. Now you've seen a close above, I mean, we wanna see the weekly close above the 2017 cycle top, but things looking like they've a lot of changes happening based on today's um, can daily candle closes. Okay, so weekly is just gonna give more confirmation. ES1, if we look at the stock market, talked about how many times, how the stock market has been calling the moves for Bitcoin. Now, if you look since the stock market broke up, this is ES1, so this is just S&P e-meaning futures. It's just a good model or, or representation of what the stock market is doing. I use it to trade Bitcoin, but really I focus on altcoins. So whenever this reverses, I'm looking for altcoin trades. Stock market still has amazing run up, you know, matching. If we, if we go back and we look at Litecoin, it matches Litecoin's run up. Right now, the dollar, we said it, the dollar dumps past here. That's, that's the key for the markets. The markets are gonna take off. If the dollar is weak, crypto and stocks pump period. And so now you're in a falling wedge. And so you have to wonder, okay, will there be any type of relief for the bears? And this, there will be um, eventually, obviously, but, but this is going to help us time it, right? And so you see the falling wedge right here. So when this breaks, this is supposed to break higher, 68% chance. If this breaks lower, parabolic drop, and then crypto is going crazy, stocks are going crazy, it'll be amazing. But if this does break higher, then you'll get the bears get some relief and you might have some Bitcoin uh, pause or some sideways at price action out of Bitcoin, give you some time to kind of look at these altcoins. Cause what'll happen is everybody's been watching Bitcoin today. Bitcoin dominance is pumping crazy right now. And so the eyes and attention hasn't been on the altcoins as much, but when you see Bitcoin dominance start to dump, then you're going to see money flow from Bitcoin profits back into the altcoins. So this is the total two. And we talked about this exact idea as being an Adam Eve double bottom. When this thing breaks out, here's the target, all right? Double bottom. So Adam Eve, this is not Chris made it up. This is technical analysis says that the height of the double bottom is the high is the target breakout and a bullish retest here and then upside. Now this is the target, this surpassed it, which is possible, but this is the measured move. This is the, the average move you get out of this 
specific pattern, right? So the total two, again, you've got, and we, and we I pulled these measures from, for, for you the other day, 1% out across all the altcoins together, and you know Ethereum maybe, or, or some of the larger cap coins would, would move slower. These small caps are killing it. Gala as, as an example. So Gala, this was the breakout level. It has broken out. We got about 10% gains out of it real quick earlier today. I posted the setup. And if you notice, you go back here and you look at the price action, right? You see how this rejection level, right? You see how the price got rejected here, right? And see how it was support here, support here, right? So this is a key level. This is a key level. Well, that gal getting rejected and then coming back up here and then it breaks out. So if you get a bullish retest, you're looking for more upside out of Gala. Gala is one of those coins. I mean, imagine nail on the bottom, which we did. Nailed, we nailed Gala a long time ago. We started buying it a week ago, 127% gains. But you can still get considerable profits if you get a bullish retest. But this is not, hey, buy Gala right now. This is if this happens, then do this. But the eyes are on Bitcoin because this thing's up only. Look, people are like, okay, it's go time. Daily candle close, FOMO, irrational trading. Right now, Bitcoin's at 20,600 and completely pumping. That's like the content that I provide on a daily basis. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.